real-life science fiction from history. From landing a spacecraft on a comet, firing lasers at the moon, and astronauts running around a space station and using jetpacks to capture stray satellites, to photographs of mountains on Saturn's ring and ice and ancient riverbeds on Mars. Astronauts running in circles on board the Skylab space station, 1973. It was the beginning of NASA's space station program, with astronauts living up to three months on the new station. They were able to float and run around in the open space of the upper dome. Open spaces are not ideal for a space station, as it's easy for an astronaut to get stuck floating with no way out of limbo. The open space on the Skylab station was even used to develop a jetpack, coming up later in the video, to help astronauts become their own solo spacecraft. Images from Mars a dried-up ancient riverbed in Marth Vallis. A Martian avalanche caught on camera. Unknown pits within an impact crater. Sand ripples and a dune at the Martian Proctor Crater. The space shuttle docked with the ISS. Before docking with the International Space Station, the space shuttles performed a rendezvous pitch maneuver, a backflip, so that the crew on board the station could photograph the underside heat shield, determining if it was safe for re-entry back to Earth. A cargo Soyuz rocket launches to the ISS, as seen here from the space station. The rocket is launched after the ISS flies by. It then slowly orbits Earth, catching up with the station. It takes two days for the cargo ship to reach the ISS, and for a crewed spacecraft, it takes only six hours, as seen here with the launch of a crewed Soyuz rocket. The MMU was a personal spacecraft, a jetpack for space. 24 nozzle thrusters were powered by a nitrogen propellant, allowing astronauts to fly in space with no lifeline, turning them into human satellites. In 1984, it was used for the first time in a test mission as astronauts McCandless and Stewart ventured more than 300 feet 91 meters away from the Challenger space shuttle. It was also used to capture stray satellites, null their rotation, and bring them into the space shuttle for repairs or to be returned back to Earth. Auroras as seen from the International Space Station Created when solar winds from the sun collide with Earth's atmosphere, causing the glowing green halos. 1998, the beginning of the 42 assembly flights and 13-year mission to construct the International Space Station, due to be retired in the year 2031. Scenes from SpaceX the launch of Intelsat's Galaxy Satellites, seen from the landing drone ship. Falcon Heavy's double booster landing. A 150-meter Starhopper test. Construction of the Starship. The Starship SN-10 test landing. Ice on Mars. Here, dunes are covered by winter frost. And other images showing patches of ice on the surface of Mars. The landing of the Mars Perseverance rover. The rover had to calculate its own landing, opening the supersonic parachute itself. Cameras then locked onto the Martian surface, identifying features and comparing them to an onboard map, setting a target for a safe landing. Perseverance then cut itself free from the parachute and used eight rockets to descend further. Hovering 20 meters 66 feet over the Martian surface, the sky crane, a set of cables, lowered the rover. Once the rover sensed that it had touched down, it cut the cables to the sky crane and was ready to start exploring. 2016. After a five-year journey, NASA's Juno spacecraft begins taking images of the gas giant Jupiter. Arriving at a comet, the Rosetta spacecraft approaches comet 67P-C-G. Launched in 2004, and after a 10-year journey towards the comet, the spacecraft begins taking images of the surface, finding a suitable landing site for the Philae lander. It was the first time humans have landed a spacecraft on a comet. Comets contain material from when the sun and planets were formed. Studying them reveals the history of the solar system. 
When the comet returned to the colder, outer parts of the solar system, there was not enough solar power to fuel the instruments, thus ending its mission. Both the Rosetta spacecraft and the Philae lander are still on the comet as it travels through space. 2022. Protecting life on Earth with the first planetary asteroid defense test. After a 10-month mission targeting the asteroid, the DART spacecraft collides with Dimorphos. The impact shortened Dimorphos's orbit by about 1% around the much larger asteroid Didymos. A targeted impact on an asteroid can create a slight shift in its direction and speed, enough to change its path away from Earth, a technique known as kinetic impact, a way of protecting future humans from Earth-bound, extinction-level asteroids. Saturn's majestic rings at equinox, a time when the sun is shining directly overhead at the equator. These images were taken by the Cassini spacecraft. The theory of how the rings were formed goes back millions of years to the age of an ice moon. Orbiting too close to Saturn, it was doomed and pulled apart. As it starts breaking up, it begins to encircle Saturn. Larger pieces of ice orbit within the ring, clearing a path, creating the many rings seen today. And here are images showing mountains rising from Saturn's B-ring beaming lasers from Earth to the Moon and to Mars. Small groups of mirrors that were left on the Moon make up the Lunar Laser Experiment. Four are positioned in different locations, creating a four-point array. The mirrors are targets for lasers beamed from Earth. Used for determining the orbit and orientation of the Moon, they have shown that the Earth and the Moon are slowly drifting apart at 1.5 inches 3.8 centimeters per year, and have revealed that the Moon has a fluid outer core. And for Mars, the Perseverance rover also has an onboard mirror array. Because the rover is mobile, it can provide a number of reference points. The mirrors are planned to be used in the future. They will provide for new science and safer spacecraft landings, boosting landing accuracy down to the surface of Mars to a few centimeters. Desert Solar Towers Using heliostats, mirrors program to track the sun's movements throughout the day and year, the sun's energy is reflected towards a tower. This concentrated solar power produces heat used to generate solar thermal energy and electricity. Olympus Mons, the largest known volcano in the solar system with possible underground lava tubes and cave tunnels habitable for humans. But as a young volcano, it could still be active today. Buried deep within a mountain in Norway lies the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. It is a secure backup facility storing the world's crop seeds. Storage rooms are kept at negative 18 Celsius, negative 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which can preserve seeds for hundreds of years, while some grains can remain safely stored for thousands of years. If needed, the seeds can be planted and multiplied, preventing the extinction of crops due to natural disasters and war, while also preserving the diversity of crops, as a number of organic and genetically engineered plants have now been patented. There was even a program to develop terminator genes to make seeds sterile so that the crops could not produce more seeds to be replanted. But this technology never went into production. In the future, could vaults storing all of Earth's genetic material, including humans, animals, and seeds, be built deep within the caves and lava tubes of the Moon and Mars, working as an extinction-level backup? The Lunar Roving Vehicle – A Spacecraft with Wheels an electric vehicle powered by non-rechargeable silver-zinc-potassium hydroxide batteries, allowing Apollo astronauts to extend their surface exploration of the Moon. During the Apollo 17 mission, the vehicle drove for 4 hours and 26 minutes, over 35.9 kilometers, 22.3 miles. It took 17 months to develop the LRV. Go ahead, there's a big crater there, though, aren't they? Humanity's Planetary Earth-Based Telescopes IRAM 30-meter telescope, Pico Valenta, Spain Noema Observatory, Grenoble, France Views into the universe from the James Webb Telescope, humanity's largest space-flying telescope The Southern Ring Nebula Cosmic Cliffs of the Carina Nebula the Tarantula Nebula, the Neptune System, and five galaxies making up the Stefan's Quintet. <laughs>